Okay, so this time we're going to be doing a <clears throat> unboxing of a Spur 6 chassis. Normally I wouldn't do an unboxing because, well, what's the point? But one of my friends asked me if I would do an unboxing of the uh, Spur chassis. This is the uh, Spur 6 chassis with some internal and external weights. The Arca adapter. A Magpul 5 round PMAG. And a bubble level, an external external bubble level for the, the spur mount for the, for the scope. Doesn't really have anything to do with the 6 chassis, but <clears throat> here we are. This is all the stuff I got, got to unbox. So, starting off, we're going to open up the box, see what's inside. So, here we are with a couple of nice little stickers and a book. We have in the book, and this is the first time I have this open, so I actually don't really know what's in here. Um, we have a six user manual. And uh, regarding the uh, manuals from the different mounts, these are from Spur, quite useful. Also, they, they're very nicely color coded. That's nice. <clears throat> All right, looks to make sense. Cool. So that's in there. You get a couple of stickers as well. You get the proud spur user and a, I, a spur ideal chassis systems. So the spur ideal chassis systems. Six. That's where the name comes from, I guess. Opening it up further, we got some paper. Just to make sure it doesn't get damaged. And we have some bubble wrap. Inside the bubble wrap, we find a six chassis rear end. And it is locked here. Yes, it is. There you go. It also has this little locking device on the end so that when you do lock up your chassis, it locks into itself. So it's uh, more secure and more snug than many other, or than different mounting systems. It doesn't wiggle around, which is really nice. On this <clears throat> version of the, of the six mount, or the six chassis, it has a, Adjustable rear end, which is really cool. It's fast, easy, easy, nimble, and it also has a adjustable bag rider, which is also really nice. Especially when you're shooting in the prone position or any other system or position in different height settings where it might be relevant or practical to be able to move around and move your bag height. So, also really nice. Furthermore, we have more bubble wrap, which is nice. And I'm sorry I forgot the banana for scale, but you know, you can never always have everything. Okay, so we have a forend, which is with the donut system, which is why we have the spur weights. It's got a nice feel to it. The anodizing looks nice. The color looks nice. Matteness looks nice. And this is really cool. Because this goes together nicely with something I'm going to show you a little later. Inside inside the forend, we find a bunch of baggies. And these baggies are some screws. That's handy. We have some short piece of Picatinny rail, 
It's also handy. Often comes in handy. We got a couple of screws. Those are what M6 screws. Guess that has something to do with the action. And we have a bunch of also. It looks to be what M6. M6 by 10 torque 30 screws, which is for our mounting of the forend. This type of forend is a enclosed forend, which means that if you have a big aggressive break on your rifle, you might want <clears throat> to take the break off because you mount your, and I'm going to be doing a, a video on how to, how to collect this thing or, or put it together in a, in a different section, but you, you, you put your action into the, the housing here and then the, uh, the barrel sticks out here this way, which is nice. And then you slot on your forend and that screws in just like so. And put together, it looks a little something like that-ish. I mean, I can't really get that far away from it. It looks a little something like that. And I feel that that's really, really nice. I'm really looking forward to getting the um, some of the weights on there. This is going to be cool. And also, in the same shipment was this. This might just to some look like a regular standard piece of Arca rail adapter. Which it is, but with a difference. Like everything else, spur. I thought about the details. And this has a quick detach push mount. But what's really cool, and I've been looking forward to this, is the way it slides down over the rail. And it locks and it does not move. And that's down to these handy dandy little push button style knobs in the bottom. I don't know if it'll focus. Please focus. You. Anyway, these push button screws drop into the chassis. Not, sh not, in, not into the chassis, sorry. They drop into, yep, there it is. Drop into the mount. And on the bottom of the Spurs 6 chassis is a bunch of small holes. Not the ones in the middle, but the ones out on the side. These holes accommodate those two little balls. So it locks into place. And it's really simple, really. It's just a geometry with something that pushes on something else, which is real cool. Keep it simple. Other than that, we have, so we have our chassis, we have our forend, PMAG or the Magpul Mag, just an AICS magazine, goes into the chassis. I'm going to get a 10 round obviously for long range and competition shooting. And here we have some weights. That's just bunch of steel that mounts onto the chassis. Again, I'll be making a how to put together video of the chassis. Hopefully sooner than later. And um, 
if you're wondering why this video is coming out before and these are the internal weights also a bunch of metal if you're wondering why this is coming out before the uh, spur visit video um, that's because there's a bunch of video and a bunch of data and all that data and all that video of course needs to be edited when it doesn't get edited it doesn't get released so there is about what was it one and a half hours worth of uh worth of one take shots and then a bunch of b-roll that need to be clipped together snip 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 and made into a video that's about the length that an average shooter has the attention span to look at so <laughs> myself included of course um, that was the unboxing of the Spur 6 chassis or the Spur SICS chassis. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'm looking forward to putting this thing together with a Tika T3 6 by 50, 6 by 6 and a half by 55 rifle. So stay tuned and stay safe. I forgot. If you feel that I deserve it, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much.